All right, YouTube, today we got a fun one here. Modifying your upper radiator hose with clear vinyl tubing. This stuff. So I can't wait to get hate mail in the comments about this because all over the internet says, don't use this tubing on your vehicle and replace a radiator hose. But I tried it, it works and it's cool. And it's like $4, why not? All right, so here we are in the engine bay. Here's our original test subject that I was about to take out before I decided to make this video. Uh, this is your inch and five ace vinyl clear tubing. Um, and it has an inch and a quarter ID. Now you wanna check that out and make sure that your fittings here from your engine or your radiator are inch and a quarter. That way they fit in this uh, inch and five ace tubing. So now we're gonna go change it. As you might've noticed, that tube that I'm removing right now has a orange tinge to it. I believe that's because when I first put this coolant in the system, I used regular water instead of distilled water and some of the internal components of my coolant system rusted, changing the color to orange. There we go, there's the hose. Now also, what I've done is I've taken a piece of stainless steel TIG wire, put it in there as well. It's gonna hold the pipe from collapsing on itself under demand from the coolant system. All right, so here I'm using the heat gun to make this rigid tubing more malleable, make it more cylindrical, that way I can get the spring down. If you ever made your own silicone radiator hoses, this is how you do it. You can make them into whatever shape you want. Shot some WD-40 down there to get the spring in there as well. I'm probably gonna put, put this part face up, that way you don't see the letters. They're hard to get out on some of these pieces of vinyl tubing. Got plenty of room on both ends. Let's go install it. I hope you guys are enjoying this modification. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe if you want to. I'll be making more videos like this. All right, so as you can see, I got both clamps back on and I would definitely use some really good stainless steel clamps, but now we can fill this baby back up with coolant and really see what it looks like. All right, guys, moment of truth here. We're all done. Put the radiator hose on, topped off the coolant, bled all the air out. And the last thing I got to do is heat cycle the hose and make sure all the clamps are nice and tight. I suggest you do the same, but let's go check it out. Boom diggity. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. Science. Looks kind of like a beaker or something, but it definitely adds a little bit of color to the engine bay there. Makes everything pop a little bit more. And uh, it's basically a $4 mod aside from your clamps here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this modification. This is the end of the video. And if you haven't hit that like or subscribe button, consider doing it now.